This tutorial will cover the use of the AGM 65D and G variants of the Maverick in Eagle Dynamics Digital Combat Simulator A10C version 1109. Uh, first thing we need to do is make our HUD soy with Cooley up short, then DMS left or right until we have our Maverick selected. Ensure that Master Arm is on. Uh, and for this fire, we will only use the default Maverick sensor. We will not be using the targeting bot. So, coolie hat right short until you have brought up the Maverick sensor. Uh, you will now see the wagon wheel indication for where the Maverick sensor is looking on the HUD. And for this particular target, we already have a steer point pointing us at uh, the target area. Uh, our steer point is our currently selected sensor point of interest, or speed. So we can do China Hat up long to slave all sensors to speed. Uh, you see the Maverick sensor has slewed from Boresight down to the target area. And if we look closely, we can just make out the dots of various trucks on the airfield. We are currently outside of the dynamic launch zone. But those trucks are pretty small, so we will make our Mav sensor soy, sensor of interest, to cool the hat, left, cool the hat right long. And then China Hat forward short to toggle the Maverick sensor's field of view. Uh, to use the Maverick sensor by itself, you merely need to slew the cursor over a target and it will do its best to lock on once it has a bright enough signature. Uh, unfortunately, at this range we are still having some difficulty. We can't quite pick up targets, so we will fly a little bit closer. And we will turn down the slew rate so it's a little easier to move the sensor without darting all over the place. Uh, once we do have a lock on a target, the Maverick sensor will fill in this crosshair and begin to breathe and shake a little bit, and then you know that you have a successful lock. And there we go. We are now locked on the target. Uh, we can hit the uh, weapon fire pickle button, and the Maverick will go off the rail and guide to the target. It is fire and forget, so once we fire, uh, we're good to go. Also, uh, again, we are within the dynamic launch zone window. And you can see that information is on the left side of the HUD as well. So, right, the Maverick is away. We'll turn off autopilot and bank away from the target. Uh, on the left side of our HUD, we can see the estimated time to impact for the missile. Ten seconds. And a hit. We will now use the AGM 65D map in conjunction with the targeting pod for long range target acquisition. So we turn off our autopilot. Uh, we are currently 27 miles away from the steer point, which is our target area, and this is uh, well outside in a useful range for the Maverick sensor. So we will do DM or Cooley left short to cycle to our TGP. We will put it into air to ground mode. And this is personal preference, but uh, I prefer boat hat aft short to switch the TGP into black hot mode. Currently the TGP is bore sighted. Uh, we can tell here is our diamond indicating where the TGP is looking on the HUD. Uh, we know that our steer point is the target area, so we will do China hat aft long to slave TGP to steer point. We could also do China Hat forward long to slave all sensors to current speed, which is the steer point. But China Hat aft long is dedicated to slave TGP to steer point. Uh, we can now make our TGP soy with Cooley Hat left long. China Hat forward short to toggle the TGP field of view. And DMS up or DMS down to zoom the TGP in or out and we look for a specific target if, for example, there was a tank that we needed to blow up and not damage friendly, or, or not damage unarmed trucks or uh, something of that nature, we could easily identify it, even 25 miles away. Uh, in this case, uh, this truck here, on the far right edge of the target area, said horrible things about my lineage, and so that is the one we are going to remove. Uh, and we can slew our TGP around with the slew cursor or with the slew control. Now, we are too far off axis right now to get a point or area track on it despite pressing TMS up short to change the tracking mode. So we will disable autopilot, roll in further to the target. Note that we do not need a point or area track to fire, 
but it is more precise, and if the target started to move, uh, point tracking would attempt to keep the TGP centered on the target course. Uh, TMS up short is now cycling through our tracking modes, so that's good. We're zoomed in as much as we can. So we will now press TMS forward long to change our current speed from the steer point to the TGP. Then we will make HUD soy again and DMS left or right to cycle through to our Mavericks. So we have our Mavericks selected on the HUD. Uh, we pull up the Mavericks screen on the right of MFCD and we make Mavericks soy with Cooley hat right long. Uh, we can press China Hat Apt Short to cycle through the various Maverick stations, as noted here on the, di on the Dismas. Now our right side is selected once more. And now we're back to our left side, this way we can uh, make sure we fire a missile from the, the uh, heavy loaded side to try and even out our load distribution. Um, the China Hat Apt Short also bore sights the Maverick. Uh, so we know our TGP is speed. We can tell from this diamond that it is looking directly where we want it to, and the line extending out from it tells us that it is our speed. Uh, with Maverick as soy, we can do China Hat forward long to slave all sensors to speed, and China Hat forward short again to cycle the Maverick field of view. At this point, it is just as if we were engaging with uh, the Maverick sensor by itself, except that we have found this target. And field is RTB at 20,000. Our tiny white dot here from a much longer range and we know precisely what it is as opposed to merely a tiny white dot. Uh, when we get within range of the dynamic launch zone, TMS up short will attempt to lock onto the Maverick, the crosshair will again fill and start to breathe, and at that point we can press the weapon pickle button and fire a Maverick. If we try and pickle now without a launch, we are given a no track warning and we cannot fire the Maverick. 9.5 miles away. We're within range of the Maverick, however, we still cannot acquire a lock. So we just tap TMS up short from time to time until the crosshair fills and starts to breathe. And now we have our lock. At this point, rifle, and the Maverick is off the rail. Disable autopilot. roll off the target area, and enjoy the show in 35 seconds. Oh. Uh, we have now masked the TGP with our aircraft. And a hit. <laughs> 